Hello YouTube, my name is Josh and I want to welcome you to our channel. So Flickstick is all about cloud gaming and today we're here to talk about cloud gaming on iOS. So on like an iPhone or an iPad, we're going to show you exactly how to get this done. We're going to be using a few tools, so a cloud server from Paperspace, an app called Moonlight, and then two other programs called the GeForce Experience and Zero Tier. So together those things combine to create a really good cloud gaming experience. Now if you haven't set up a cloud gaming server yet with Paperspace, you'll find a link in the description to set yours up for free. You'll get enough credit to at least set up the server and have a couple hours of free gameplay. So we're going to jump right into setting the whole thing up, starting with getting your VPN server ready. Start by visiting my.zerotier.com and we're just going to create an account. So put in your email address, put in a password, go ahead and create your account. As soon as you're logged in, click on Networks. And you'll notice that we haven't created any networks yet. Go ahead and click Create. And you'll notice that it creates a completely random network with a random name. Don't worry about this, we're going to edit it on the next screen. On this screen, it's important to make a note of a few details. The very first detail is the network ID. This ID is unique to your network, you don't want to share it with anybody else and you will need this to be able to connect your iOS device and your cloud server to this VPN. So make a note of it. You might want to write it down or copy and paste it somewhere safe. Below that, you're welcome to customize the name of the network that you're going to be using. So I'm just going to use Flickstick for mine. And that looks like that checks out. And then over here, you want to make sure that IPv4 is auto assigning IP addresses. You can choose any range that you want. So it's doing it automatically for me. I'm fine with the range that it's selecting there and we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom of this window and we're going to leave it there for right now so you can tell that it says no devices have joined this network yet and we need to come back to this page here in a little bit because when we connect our iOS device and our cloud server they're going to show up in a list down here and we have to approve them so leave this window open and then move on to the next step we're using a cloud computer from Paperspace to power our gaming experience if you don't already have a Paperspace server set up, take a look at the top of the screen. You'll find a link to a tutorial that will help you to set everything up. You can follow along with it. It is focused on setting up Parsec, but it applies to this situation as well. As soon as you do have your Paperspace server set up, go ahead and join it and you'll see a screen just like this one. We're going to start by opening up Google Chrome. And we're going to visit ZeroTier.com. From here, click on Download. And then we're going to download it for Windows. So click on the Windows link. And as soon as it's downloaded, you can go ahead and launch it. Now we're ready to install Zero Tier. Click Install. This should take just a few minutes to install. Give it some time, and it'll let you know as soon as it's done. You'll notice that it's checked off to launch it. Go ahead and leave it checked and then click Finish. All right, now it's going to prompt you to either create an account or log in. We're going to choose to log in since we already created an account in the previous step. All right, and it's going to show that we already have a network created, which we do. Go ahead and choose Join, and then click All Done. For our next step, let's open up Chrome again. And this time, we're going to download the GeForce Experience. So just type that in. And then click Download GeForce Experience. And then Download. As soon as it's done, go ahead and click it to launch the installer. As soon as you're ready, click Agree and Install. And this will take a few minutes as well. As soon as it's ready, it's going to prompt you to log in with your NVIDIA account. If you don't have one, you can create one right here. I'm going to go ahead and sign in with mine. All right, we're going to skip the tour since I've done this in the past. And then let's go ahead and go up to the gear. And we want to go to Shield right over here and then click game stream to enable the game stream feature. All right, and that's it. You can go ahead and close the GeForce Experience window and our next steps are on our iOS device. 
On your iOS device, open up the App Store and perform a search for Zero Tier. Download it from the results. Open it as soon as it's done installing. Tap the plus button to create a new VPN connection. Grab your network ID from the Zero Tier page that we had opened up earlier. Choose Add Network when you're done, and then choose to allow it to be added to VPN configurations. Now you'll remember earlier I told you to go ahead and leave the Zero Tier page open. Let's go back to that now, and we're going to scroll down to the bottom of the page, and you'll notice that a couple of devices are waiting for approval. So this is the cloud server right here. It's already authorized. This is the iPhone. We need to check the box to authorize it. Now let's go back to the iPhone and make sure that it connects. Open up settings, and then turn on your VPN. Open the Zero Tier app, and make sure that your VPN status is OK. Open the App Store again, and search for Moonlight. Open it as soon as it's ready. You'll notice that it detects my computer here at home, but it's not detecting my cloud server. So let's head back over to the cloud server to grab our IP address. On your Paperspace server, click on the taskbar, right click on zero tier, and then choose Show Networks. From here, you want to focus on this IP address that it gives you right here. And this is going to be different for every single person. So what you see for mine is not going to be the same as what you have for yours, but we're going to use this for the iPhone. So let's switch back to the iPhone. Back in Moonlight, tap Add Host. And then enter the IP address that we just grabbed from the cloud server. Remember that my IP address may not be the same one that's being used on your VPN. So be sure to use the one that you grabbed from your cloud server. It may take a few seconds for your server to pop up. Go ahead and tap it when you're ready. It's going to prompt you to enter a PIN code on your cloud server. So hop back over to the cloud server and enter the code on the screen. On your cloud server, you're going to be prompted for the PIN code that popped up on your iPhone. Go ahead and enter it, and then click Connect. And that's it. You're connected and ready to start gaming. If you want, you can go into Moonlight Settings and enable on-screen controls. Otherwise, you can use a physical MiFi controller for a better experience.